They're gonna make a new game to do that? That makes me nervous. It's like the Moaning Myrtle <laughs> version of Corpse Party. I need you to find my glasses. Um, you can't afford more glasses? No! I'm a ghost, I would have thought that was obvious, but whatever. Trapped here. Da -da -da -dun. Ladies, ladies, gentlemen, it's noisy face. That's me. It's getting to be sweater weather, which I am very excited about. And I'm not sure if I should be excited yet about playing the next installment of Corpse Party. A gentleman's errand. Uh, sure, I gotta make a new game to do that? That makes me nervous. My name is Nana Osagara. I'm a 7th grader at Mashuaga Girls Middle School. And I can't help but wonder, why did this happen to us? I was just playing around with some drama club friends and some high school kids after class, when suddenly everything went white and we found ourselves trapped here. Da -da -da -dun! And by we, I mean my friend Chihaya Yamase from Homeroom, and an old friend from another class, Nari Amatoya, and I've practically known them forever. Those two were the only ones in the room with me when I came to, and I'm not sure what happened to the others. A representative from another class, Hikari Kirigama, and two high schoolers named Naruse and Kazane were with us before, but are nowhere to be found. I'm not gonna remember any of these names, y'all. I'm just saying. So, Chihaira, Nari, and I have been wandering these halls aimlessly for quite some time, in search of them. Ch -ch -ch <laughs> I can read. Chihaya was the first to brave using the bathroom, and even when it- Oh, no! That's bad. Chihaya was the first to brave using the bathroom, and even went alone, but came running out not a moment later claiming to have heard a scary voice. During her flight, it seems she dropped the pouch she always carries with her, and I've agreed to go in and find it in her place. Oh, that's me? Okay. Yeah, like, sure, this seems fine. For goodness sake, Chihaya, this is clearly the boys' room. Uh, it is. What gave it- oh, I wonder who's in this? Hold on, I gotta open this stall. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Again, shut the goddamn door. Oh no! Who the heck was that? That was definitely a voice. Oop. Ah, found it! There's a pink plastic pouch on the ground. Should you pick it up? Indeed. Indeed I shall. Acquired. Shihaya's pouch. Okay, well what do I do with it? Someone tell me. Can I use the sink? The mirror is so cloudy, you can't really make anything out. Is that going to give me the same thing? Yeah. Oh, wait. It said something different. This mirror is perfectly clear, but only on your own palette, only your own palette face stares back at you. Okay. Well, cool. Let me go exploring. No, no. Chahaya, I found it. Here. Hand it over to Haya's pouch. Yay! Thank you! You know, though, when you drop something, shouldn't you be the one to go looking for it? I only have a small plethora of voices, okay? Don't judge me! Nari! <laughs> I'm... I'm... Scared. The three of us begin wandering the darkened halls of the abandoned school building once again. Naruse, Kazane, Hikari, our missing friends, we called their names over and over again as we walked. But our voices just seemed to be absorbed by the darkness in front of our faces, where they melted away into nothingness. We knew that eventually these voices would give out altogether and our bodies would cease to function. It was only a matter of time. But despite that inevitability, we decided then and there that we would keep on walking for as long as it took. We couldn't give up. We had to continue struggling against our fate, hauling out into the darkness with whatever voices we had left. For as long 
as we lived. Wrong end. Oh. Okay. Am I am I not supposed to pick things up? I'm I'm so confused right now. Is that all it does? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me not pick things up at all. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let me just go straight out of this bathroom. I can't. This room does give me the creeps, but I promised Jehaya I'd find her pouch. I can't leave without it. This is clearly the boys' room. Let me try not opening this door and just picking this up and see if that uh, changes anything. I doubt that it will, but, you know, one never knows. Oh. Oh. Nana. Oh, wait. Nana. Ah. Oh, it's you. Don't scare me like that. Sorry. You've just been in here for a while, so I was getting a little worried. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Thanks, though. Great. I'll stay with Chihaya, then, and you finish what you're doing. But please, hurry if you can. Well, I was literally... Oh. It, is it a ghost? I mean, like, probably. Most impressive. You found what you were looking for without searching my stall. People have been barging in on me a lot lately, you see. I've been getting rather uppity with the living for always shamelessly opening the door with reckless abandon, as your comrade did a moment ago. See, I'm quite easily frightened as it happens. The only place where I feel truly safe is at home, in this restroom stall. It is strange. I, I can't explain why. But I don't find this person scary at all, even though he's clearly a ghost. It's like the Moaning Myrtle <laughs> version of Corpse Party. Okay, well, are you done talking? As the spirit sways from side to side, the faint blue light radiating from his body twinkles throughout the room. Is that it? Anything else you want to say to me? Yep. Okay. Well, bye. See you later. Bye bye bye. Hi, guys. Nana. Jihaya, I found it. Here. Handed over the pouch. Yay! Thank you! You know, when you drop something, shouldn't you be the one looking for it? Nari? I, I'm, I'm scared. Don't cry, Chihaya. There's nothing scary in there. Oh, just some ghost, you know. He's just chilling. It's fine. <laughs> what I say? You serious? Isn't that, like, dangerous? No, it's totally fine. You seem like a really nice person. I don't suppose you'd want to meet him yourself, would you? What? I think I would. After all, we've been here for several hours now, and there hasn't been anyone else to talk to this whole time. I guess. I'm just gonna go in there and talk to this guy. It's really true. He's not scary at all. If I may, I have a favor to ask of you three. Some rogue friend has absconded with my prized gentleman's set. By which I mean my hat and my glasses. If you should happen upon them in your wanderings, would you be so kind as to return them to me? Sure thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. So your possessions have been stolen, then. That's terrible. Wait here. We'll find them. You are too kind. <laughs> Looks like our noble party of adventurers has accepted a quest. Let's give it everything we've got. Goddamn music. <laughs> Going crazy. Whoa! This is so ridiculous. Okay, find the gentleman's glasses. I shall. I shall game. Are they in here? That would be funny if they were. I would laugh. Alright. Looking in the restroom. Hello? 
There's a message scribbled on the wall. Try the stall to the right. I did. One more over. One more over. Too far. Go back one. There's a pair of sunglasses in the stall with star-shaped lenses. I will take those. Thank you. Acquired superstar sunglasses. I think it would be really hard to look good in these. That's what you think! Got no sense for Sal. Oh, hold on. I should probably look at mirrors in here. I'm just saying. A child's bloody handprint is clearly visible on the glass. Well, that can't be good for business. <laughs> oh, he's just marking all the mirrors? That's, you know, legit. Well, we can go in here. Let's go in here. Oh, blood. That's always good for business. Hey, my board's there. Since when? Knockity knock knock. Can I not go in there? Nope. Apparently I cannot. So I will go down this way. Science lab. The door seems like a model. It can- Oh, there's no meat stain! Am I the meat stain? A strange force seems to be repelling you. You cannot progress beyond this point. Watch me! Alright. Well. Well. And you're sure I can't go in here? You're like positive that I can't use this door. Okay. Moving on, I suppose. The bucket's not here either. So that is curious. Girls, boys, let's keep our restrooms clean. Okay. Well, have we gone back in here yet? We haven't. But I have your glasses. Offered stu superstar sunglasses to the spirit. <laughs> Disgusted sigh. The spirit has stuck out his lower lip and shook his head quite fervently. Seems he doesn't much care for them. Yes, they're not his after all. Unsurprisingly. Okay. Well, there's not many places I can go here, game. Let me start over here. There's a message. Try the saw to the right. That's it's not gonna give me anything here, right? Because I already picked it up. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't think there's much else to do in here, but I will look. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Nothing in the urinals. Not even urinal cakes, so dang. <laughs> oh. Well, that's probably that. Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Looking for something? I'm sure you won't find it downstairs anywhere. Well, I just went down there, you crazy weirdo. I guess we go downstairs, y'all. Since we've already been there. Let's just go again. Hi, you weren't here the first time. The guy to the west is a liar. You mustn't believe a word he says. Okay. One of us always tells the truth, and one of us always lies. The guy to the south is a liar. You mustn't believe a word he says. Sure. 
still can't go in here, huh? Oh, now I can go past the meat wall. The non-existent meat wall, which is great. Open up. The door is locked. Oh. Well, that's probably bad. Hello. The two guys to the north of me are both telling the truth. You should believe everything they say, but you're a liar. And you should also return to the third floor right away, without exploring anywhere else beforehand. Uh, I'm going down. Look, I don't care at this point. I've already got a wrong ending. It's fine. What is this? I want it. Give it to me. Give me that thing. There's a pair of distinguished looking glasses sitting on the banister. Take them. Yes. Those probably belong to that dude. Let me go see. Let me go see if they belong to that dude. Do -do 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 -do. I have a feeling one of these girls dies. My leg really hurts. Oh my, Chahaya. I think you need to rest for a bit. This is too much for me. Okay. Well, I don't have anywhere for you to, like, conveniently lay down. So, sorry about that. I'm going back. Going back to the restrooms to give these to the ghost. That's what I'm doing. Uh, this one, right? Yeah. Would you like some sunglasses, ghost? Offer distinguished glasses. You have my internal gratitude. I have always felt that these glasses existed in this world solely to be worn by me. Oh, how I miss them. They look really good on you. I assume they do anyway. It's hard to tell, since he's basically just a blue glow. I guess all that's left now is to find your hat, right? You are too kind. Find the gentleman's hat. Okay. Again, I shall go look. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Okay. Well, hello. Oh. Oh, that's smart. Well. Maybe I don't do that? I'm not sure what exactly I'm meant to be doing. Hello. Will you hurt me too? The item you seek is downstairs. Need help finding it? Try talking to the moving spirits. Well, one of them already, like, shocked the crap out of me, so, you know. Warning, your HP is getting low. What about I talk to this one that's not moving? The spirit that started on the bottom right does not have the item you want. I was not paying attention. Okay. Do I have to do this? Someone tell me. Hello. Ah! I don't have any items, do I? Uh, tools. Six of thirty. Okay, well that's probably bad. Let me go, um, well, I don't really know how else to do this, so sure. Did I die? Game end. Ending unattained. Well, you know, there's always that. One hour later. Well, you know, don't mind me. Having to go in and casually redo everything that I've done. That's just like par for the course in Corpse Party. I need you to find my glasses! Um, you can't afford more glasses? No! I'm a ghost, I would have thought that was obvious, but whatever. Here are your glasses, which I went and got. Now go find my hat. I shall. I sh I'll probably die again. Like, which one of these am I supposed to talk to? Okay. So this one does not have my answer. So it's one of those three. So you tell me. Okay. 
So, let's try this one. Nope. Two hours later. What happens if I just go downstairs anyway? Oh, I can't. Okay, well... I'm very hesitant to do this. Because I don't want to die again. Three hours later. What about you? No, touch the pretty... <laughs> it's my precious. Patience, my love. I can't do it. Uncle Pookie can do it. Spirit is holding a key marked infirmary. Yank it away from him. Yes. I will take that. Thank you. So. Down I go. Again. Down here I go. To the infirmary. Which one of us is going to get flung against the wall? That's what I want to know. Hello. Infirmary. The door is locked. Use the infirmary key. No, I'll just keep that in my pocket for shits and giggles. Is there a candle in here? Probably not. Nope, no candle. Ah, it's a hat. There's a felt hat on the ground that seems to radiate an air of luxury and refinement. Yes. That's mine. Thank you. Are there matches? Do I need matches? It's an old-fashioned space heater. Unfortunately, it's full of ash and no matches. Oh, are you going to hang out here, girl? Go for it. Chihaya? I'm tired. I hate this. Oh, I want to go home. Chihaya, it's okay. We'll get out of here. I know we will. How can you even say that? What possible reason could you have for believing that we'll ever be able to leave this place? Chihaya? Chihaya, are you saying I... Are you saying I can hold you responsible if we never set home again? Chihaya, that's enough. I've had about all I can take of your whining. I don't know who's who, guys. I'm sorry. We're not in the safety of our own familiar little world anymore. People aren't going to bend over backwards to spare your feelings here. We're fighting for survival. It's every girl for herself. So don't think for a minute that we're going to stop and console you every time you have a damsel in distress moment just because we're friends. Go ahead and cry. See if I care. Nari, that was totally uncalled for. Not everybody's as strong-willed as you, you know. Fine. Do whatever the hell you want, then. Dot, dot, dot. Well, here's your hat back. Oh, look, it looks so dapper! Well, you have my thanks once again. I'm always cherished this hat, you see. It was especially selected for me by Tanaka. Oh, I know who that is! I'm so glad we were able to find it. It seems like it means a lot to you, and it just feels really good to help someone in need. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You are truly benevolent souls. My eternal gratitude is yours. You possess such clear eyes and pure hearts. If I still lived, I would use the rest of my days to offer my protection and guidance. You can't do that as a spirit? Lame. I shan't lose these items again, and I should hope that you do not lose the generosity I've shown. For this place can quickly and easily crush a spirit. In times like this especially... It is important that you do not succumb to despair or forsake your true nature. Rather, you should scoff in despair's rotund face and embrace who you are. Love yourself. But now I must bid thee adieu, for my home is calling to me. I pray that you three, as well, will find your way back to your homes in due time. Fare thee well! I love you! Okay. Should I open this? I can't. I have no means of being exercised from this place, of course. So this is as close to a home as I can find. Ah, be it ever so humble. 
Okay. Well. Cool. <laughs> He's a pretty fun person, huh? Oh, I totally messed up their voices. It's fine. Okay. And? And then? And then, and then, and then? Okay. Now what do I do? Oh. I can get out this way. Although still apprehensive about our surroundings, we felt slightly better having done a good deed and held our heads high as we exited the bathroom. From there, we began wandering the darkened halls of the abandoned school building once again. Naruz, Kazune, Hikari, our missing friends, we called their names over and over again as we walked. But our voices just seemed to be absorbed. I've already read this. Face melting. <laughs> All right. But despite that inevitability, we decided then and there that we would keep on walking for as long as it took. We couldn't give up. We had to continue struggling against our fate, calling out into the darkness with whatever voices we had left. For as long as we lived. The end! <laughs> Yay! Extra content. All right, well... I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I know this is going to be a really short one, but I completed a gentleman's errand, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Look, we're making progress in Corpse Party, um, and I hope that you're enjoying the playthrough. Uh, it's an interesting game. I, I will say that so far. I'm interested to see what happens in the future chapters and like with all the students and the hidden stuff. Uh, maybe we'll learn more about such a... Uh... 